to the polls to choose their new mayor. Last night, four of the candidates took part in the last televised debate of the campaign here on ITV1. Today, the three remaining candidates have been fleshing out their key policies, as our election correspondent Alex Forrest now reports. Good evening and welcome to the London mayoral debate. It, it was the final TV clash between four of the mayoral candidates. From transport to housing to crime, the four found little they could agree on. Fares going up 2% above inflation each year. You know We're now 10 well. days from the election. You know, you, you You're still refusing well. to answer. With the current mayor, Boris Johnson, under particular scrutiny. He is trying to have you over here in terms of the numbers he's talking about. Even the audience had a go. Would you let me finish? It's not true. The number, <laughs> the number, of, young, the number of young people dying as a result of knife crime has gone down. Well, you I've lost violence. friends. Thank you, you very much. So what are the policies of the other three candidates? First up, transport. I'm saying we freeze fares until April 2014. That's a real benefit for everybody using the transport system at the moment. And I would reduce fares for people who are on a low wage in London and let job seekers travel for free so that they can actually get to their job interviews. I'm also saying I would open up the tubes for one hour extra on a Friday and a Saturday. This is going to be a huge benefit to people who can't travel around late at night um, at the moment on the weekends. We can do this now. The maintenance systems are different in the tubes. Um, this will make a real difference to people who want to have a bit of a fun on Friday and a Saturday evening. What we've said is that we'll not put fares up above inflation, but what you've got to bear in mind is a lot of external factors affecting the, the fares. In recent years, the prices of fares have gone up because of the infrastructure upgrade for the Olympics, which we're all paying for through higher transport costs. But what I would also do is include the single largest commuter group in my transport policy, which is the motorist. All the other candidates are ignoring the motorist. The BMP candidate, Carlos Cortilia, wasn't available for interview today, but he's pledging to oppose the automation of tube services, introduce free tube and train travel at weekends, and oppose the construction of new runways at Heathrow Airport. Next up, crime. We've been quite bold on this. What we're saying is that if you offend on Saturday, you should be jailed on Monday. 200 crimes a day are committed by people on bail, and these are often the low-level antisocial crimes that blight people's lives. Justice should be swift and fair. In reality, there's no right number for police. All we know is that people want to see more officers on the street. I would uphold that principle. But what I'm saying is we, we now is the moment to have the external independent review of the Metropolitan Police Service so many people have been calling for. That's what I'd do. I'd be looking at efficiency in the police service, but also the cultural issues. We have to address the lingering issues around racism, around the relationship between the police and the press, um, and some of the ways that people are treated in press custody. We need to do all of that and do it independently. The BMP's Carlos Cortilia wants to implement a zero-tolerance policy on antisocial behaviour, gang culture and violent crime, deal with the lack of coordination and training in the Metropolitan Police, which he says became evident during last summer's riots, and end politically correct interference in police operations. And on housing, there are also strong views. I have a radical housing policy because I recognise that housing is the biggest challenge for Londoners. I would create a low-cost, fixed-price housing market that the mayor would regulate. So I would gift some of the land that the mayor owns. The mayor is the biggest landowner in London. That removes a huge cost for property developers. That means we can sell those homes at half of the commercial price at the moment. This would really help the people and families across London who, even though they're on a moderate wage, cannot get that first step on the property ladder. The biggest impact on housing is, of course, supply and demand. With the open-door immigration policy that we currently have in this country, demand will always outstrip supply. What I want to do is prioritise Londoners that have lived here for more than five years in terms of allocation for social housing. Carlos Cortilia for the BMP is promising to provide extra housing across London without compromising quality or infrastructure and to improve the planning process by making the Greater London Assembly responsible for planning decisions in the capital. The TV debates may now be over, but they're still all to play for to win City Hall. Alex Forrest, London Tonight. And before we move on, a reminder of all the candidates in the election... Boris Johnson represents the Conservatives, Ken Livingstone, Labour, and Brian Paddock stands for the Liberal Democrats. The Green Party's candidate is Jenny Jones. Lawrence Webb represents UKIP, 
Carlos Cotilla stands for the BNP and Siobhan Benita is an independent candidate. And you get to vote a week tomorrow, as I say. That's the 3rd of May. Still ahead tonight, back from the Falklands, the Duke.